guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, I trust you're doing well. I know we've got a lot of interesting things going on in the world right now. Um, and so <laughs> a lot of adjustments for everybody. And I hope and trust that y'all are rocking it and doing awesome. Um, so I'm jumping on here today because I am getting a lot of questions about how to support our immune systems and our respiratory systems right now uh, for a variety of different reasons. So this is going to be a, a bigger video. Uh, I'm going to go through a bunch of different things that can really help support your lifestyle. <laughs> we'll say it that way. I am going to keep my video compliant. That's super important, uh, both for me and for Young Living as a company. And so, yep, this will be a compliant video as best as I possibly am aware of. Okay, we'll do it that way. Okay, so immune systems. I'm going to start there. Um, so there are some pretty basic things. I am going to get into essential oils here pretty quickly, but I'm also going to go through some basics. Um, immune system support. You guys, vitamin C is amazing for immune support, okay? There's all kinds of vitamin C out there. You can get it from your health food store or wherever. The thing I love about Young Living's vitamin C is that it has other things in it that are necessary for the absorption of the vitamin. Okay, They're, they have to be in place in order for you, your body to use it properly. So that's number one. Um, it's, it's a really bioavailable, meaning your body can use it easily, a very bioavailable form. It also, um, along with the vitamin C, this particular one, uh, this has zinc, manganese, potassium, um, has a few other, th a few other things, uh, cayenne, it has orange oil, tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, lemon oil, and lemongrass oil. Um, so all, the, all of those things help your body absorb the vitamin C properly. That's number one. So get on some vitamin C. Make sure it's good stuff. Um, the next thing, vitamin D. Okay. Vitamin D is actually not a vitamin. It is a hormone. And your body should naturally make vitamin D when you are out in the sun. And it is super amazing for your immune system on a whole bunch of different levels. Um, you can also take vitamin D in, um, you can buy it in capsule form or they have some liquid gels, things like that. You can get that. Your your body's best option is really getting it from the sun. Ideally, we're out in the sun for 20 minutes a day for our body to really make the, the amount of vitamin D that we require. If that's a challenge for you, get it as a supplement and you can do both. You really can do both options and see some big changes. Um, a subset or a smaller part of your immune system is known as your lymphatic system. You know, when you get that, uh, like a, if you get any type of mucus in your head, like in your sinuses or your chest, or really it can show up anywhere, it can show up in your digestive system, that mucus is created by your lymphatic system. And you guys know about your lymph nodes, uh, that, you know, they're in your throat, in your armpit, in your groin, they're throughout your body. Getting some type of a, a physical impact um, but you, it doesn't have to be like a hard impact. You guys can do it on a, um, on a rebounder. You guys know what a rebounder is? Yeah. So re rebounders are awesome for activating your lymphatic system and helping that to drain out. Um, so rebounders going for a, a gentle jog or a run or, um, a nice walk or a hike in the woods, something like that. Get your system moving because your body will flush that naturally. Um, that is where some of the, the antiperspirants can be really challenging because they clog up your lymph nodes. They, the aluminum and the other properties in them really prevent your lymph nodes from flushing properly. So uh, it's really, really helpful to switch to a deodorant and away 
from an antiperspirant. There are a lot of them out there. I know people have challenges with certain things, um, but you can, hey, Gert, uh, you can jump in. There are times where I just use baking soda. <laughs> I know it's going to sound silly, but um, Young Living Toothpaste, their Thieves Toothpaste, actually works great as deodorant. I know that sounds super silly, but it's fantastic, and a lot of times I use it when I'm traveling so that I only have to pack one thing instead of two. Um, so that's a great place to start um, for your lymphatic system. Um, some other things that you can do, uh, I'm going to switch gears to respiratory system a little bit here. So we've got our upper respiratory and our lower respiratory, right? So I have a lot of people talking about congestion and discomfort in their upper respiratory system, their sinuses. I highly recommend oil pulling. Have you guys ever done that? Oil pulling is a very, very helpful tool. I prefer to use coconut oil. Um, you're going to buy the raw, organic, cold or expeller pressed, uh, you know, all the, the list of all the important things by that kind, the kind that at room temperature, uh, well, depending on the temperature you keep your house, it's probably going to be a solid, most likely. That's the stuff you're going for. If it stays as a liquid, unless you're keeping your house warmer, you're, you've got the uh, fractionated coconut oil, and that's a no-go for this. Okay, so coconut oil has some very highly antifungal properties. It does a whole bunch of things, but it's very antifungal. And so it works really well for oil pulling. So a lot of times what I'll have people do or I'll do myself is first thing in the morning when I'm up and moving before I put food in my belly. And a lot of times as I'm jumping in the shower, I'll go to my kitchen, grab a scoop of coconut oil, and I'll usually add an oil to it an essential oil. So Thieves is a great one. And we'll talk about that in a minute, why Thieves is so awesome. Uh, peppermint is another one that's awesome to add to, um, to oil pulling if you're using it for respiratory support, upper respiratory support. You can also use it for oral health. It helps your uh, with your gums and your teeth and some other things as well. So you can use it for that too. In that case, I may use um, one of the citrus oils, maybe a lemon or orange or something like that. Um, so anyway, with oil pulling, I'll get, go get a scoop of it, add maybe two or three drops of my essential oil on top, stick it in my mouth, and I'll swish it gently for up to 20 minutes. And that will begin to draw toxins of all sorts, heavy metals, bacteria, viruses, blah, 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 all those things, funguses, uh, it will begin to draw it all out. It, and it will also help your sinuses clear out. And you're gonna wanna spit that out either in the trash can or in the toilet. I recommend doing something, or outside, I recommend doing something other than the sink because usually if you pour grease down a sink, it's gonna clog it up. So, it's really helpful to uh, to do that, and you're just going to swish real gently. It doesn't need to be a vigorous swishing like you think of mouthwash. You can put it in your mouth and sit in front of the boob tube for a few minutes while you're watching TV. You have a whole bunch of different options, but oil pulling is a really highly beneficial tool for supporting your upper respiratory system and cleaning some of that out. Um, yeah, so, so that's what I'm going to talk about um, as far as kind of daily lifestyle things that you can do to really help support yourself, both your immune system and your respiratory system, those are gonna be really helpful. So I'm gonna jump into the essential oil side of things right now. Uh, the first thing to know about is Thieves is amazing, amazing immune support. Um, this blend was actually discovered during the time, if you research the history on it, it was actually discovered during the time of the bubonic plague. So um, it does great things for your immune system. That's about the extent of what I can say on how it supports your body. Now, the flip side of that on how I use it. So uh, I have, do I have my other bottle? No. Um, so you can, for those of you who are brave, you can unscrew the top and put a drop under your tongue and hold it there for a minute and do it 
do it that way. I do that quite often. Um, this is going to be hot. It has cinnamon, lemon, clove, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And so that cinnamon and clove have a very warm feeling about them. And so you're going to get that cinnamon red hot in feeling in your mouth. Remember that candy you see when you're a kid or maybe you still eat it? Um, oh, that's the other thing for your immune system and your respiratory system. Sugar and dairy. Get them out. Processed carbs, get them out. They will charge up your lymphatic system to produce mucus to slow down how your uh, lymphatic system processes and your immune responses. So just saying, um, get rid of those. It'll help you tremendously. Okay, back on track with thieves here. Thieves will help. Um, you can put it under your tongue. Some people on occasion like to put it in their glass water bottle. It's not really my favorite. I'd much rather put it under my tongue. Um, you can also put it in veggie capsules. I did not bring my veggie capsules. I left them in the kitchen. You can buy the empty veggie capsules, uh, not the soy or the glycerin. Buy the veggie ones. Young Living has them at a great value and a great quality. It's uh, about $7.50 for 250 capsules worth. But you can put this in a capsule and swallow it. You can also put this on the bottom of your feet. It's great for your immune system. Um, in a diffuser as well. Thieves in a diffuser is fantastic. Uh, a few nights this week, I've put it in my diffuser. Oh, here's my diffuser. Ooh, my diffuser um, has some pretty light settings, candles, and other things like that. Um, so I put it in my diffuser and let my diffuser run all night. It has um, both an eight and a ten hour setting. So I let it, uh, I let it go all night, and I get thieves uh, in my room for some fresh air and fresh respiratory support. Um, you can also Put a couple drops in the palm of your hand, rub your hands together, take some big deep breaths through your nose. Uh, through your nose will support both your sinuses, your upper respiratory system, and your lower respiratory system. So that's a great option. Uh, thieves, again, it's hot. So if you get it on or near your eyes or sensitive skin, it may tingle a little bit. You will be just fine. Do not use water because oil and water repel each other, okay? So the water will actually drive it deeper into the skin. Great if that's what your goal is. If it's on sensitive skin, maybe try something else. The, the best way to do it is to use a carrier oil. Young Living has V6. You can use coconut oil, olive oil, sesame oil, jojoba. There are all sorts of almond oil. There are all sorts of oils that you can use, but just... Put it over top of where you got it, where it's warm and tingly, and it'll calm it right down usually if you have a good quality carrier. That's the caveat. It has to be a good quality oil. Um, it'll smooth it. It'll, uh, the, the bigger molecules of the carrier will attract it and slow down its absorption rate, and therefore the tingle will come to a halt or at least slow down tremendously. Um, so those are most of the ways I use thieves. For me personally, uh, it's typically in like dropping it under my tongue or in my diffuser. Those are my favorites just because they're quick and easy and convenient. Um, but on occasion, I will take a capsule of thieves oil as well. So that's immune support. Um, another part of immune support, a large part of our immune system is found in our digestive system as well. So, we talked about removing dairy and processed carbs. Really focusing high on fruits and veggies is going to help flush anything that is lingering in your digestive system. It will help flush it out. But some things that you can help do to help support that process. Well, I can get this. Um, these two are fantastic. There's a blend called Digiz and, and lemon oil. Digize is great for all things digestive. Interestingly enough, it can support your respiratory system as well. So you can use it both on your belly, you can use it on the bottom of your feet, and you can use it on your back. Um, you can also put it in a capsule and take it. You can put a few drops in some water and drink it before your meals. This will really help support your Digestive system, in turn, supporting your immune system. It's kind of a domino effect with that one. 
Lemon oil is great. It's a nice way to help keep hydrated. Um, it does, lemon is known for helping to support your uh, digestive system and flush out things that are um, other than helpful, uh, especially petrochemicals and things like that. And so, but it's an, a nice way to help keep hydrated, especially if you're tired of plain old water. If that's you, putting a few drops in your glass water bottle is going to go a really long way. Um, in a glass, this is a, um, a quart, like 32 ounces, basically. And so in this size bottle, I'll put anywhere between five and 10 drops of water, uh, excuse me, of oil with my water. Usually I'll just put a little water in here, put my oil in to whatever strength I like. Start small. You can always add more. Then I put my water on top and it'll disperse the oil molecules throughout the water bottle. Good stuff. Um, again, this will help with oral health if you choose to do oil pulling with it. And, oh, um, let's talk about, I'm going to shift into respiratory system here real quick. So, depending on what we have going on, uh, I'm going to stick with the lemon here. So there's lavender. Lemon, lavender, and my, nope, there we go, peppermint. This can be a great blend for upper respiratory, lower, actually, it could support your whole body in a variety of different ways, but it's um, great for your respiratory system. You can put this in a diffuser. You can put these in a capsule. Uh, lavender comes in a vitality form as well. Um, you can put them, uh, you, what did I say? You can put them in a capsule. You can put them in a diffuser. You can just mix them in the palm of your hand. Again, one or two drops of each in the palm of your hand. Big, deep breaths as you're in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then you can um, rub the excess on the back of your neck or your chest or on your belly, bottom of your feet. Any of those areas are going to be great. But this is one way, one powerful way <laughs> I can do this, um, to support your respiratory system. This is one option depending on what, what we're working on here. Um, especially this time of year is really good. Another blend that I'd like to talk about is Raven. This is a fantastic blend for your respiratory system. I, I love using this in the diffuser, in my diffuser. I'll also put a couple drops in the palm of my hand and rub it uh, on my neck and my chest or maybe even the back of my neck. But it's really uh, comforting and soothing for my respiratory system. And this has, this has all kinds of great things in it. Um, I'll just read to you real quick. Um, so it has camphor, lemon, wintergreen, peppermint, and eucalyptus. So um, there are some great things in here to support both your upper and lower respiratory system. Um, this one is typically, again, only, this is only going to be external, um, but taking good deep breaths is going to be really beneficial for your respiratory system. Um, yeah, so that's the gist of what I'm going to talk about for right now, because I really geared this conversation towards some quick and easy things to do for your immune and respiratory system. All the oils that I've talked about, not the vitamin C, but all the oils that I've talked about actually come in our Young Living Starter Kit. Um, I'm going to show you. <laughs> this is what's left. I already pulled out the one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever. Yeah, six oils because there's uh, four more left in here. Um, this is called Panaway. We've got Frankincense, Citrus Fresh, Valor. And then you actually get a little bit more here. You get some uh peace and calming some stress away for those of you who have kids at home um with online schooling <laughs> yeah these could be really really helpful at helping everybody stay calm and chilled out and if you uh you can use some citrus fresh or lemon mixed with peppermint in the diffuser that is great for when they're actually doing their work online to help with focus and clarity that is a really good one. So this starter kit is 
an amazing option. It has everything that I've talked about today, including the diffuser. And uh, to put it in perspective for you, the kit is valued at a little over 400 bucks. The price of the kit is 165 plus shipping and handling. Whoops, almost dropped it. Um, so it is a great, great value. A little bit really goes a long way for supporting your immune and respiratory systems. It's a great option. Now, here's another thing to mention to you. Um, everything that we have talked about uh, so far is just kind of a standard regimen, standard protocol type things that you can use. But a lot of these oils can support multiple organs and systems of the body. So how do you know what is going to be optimal for your system? There is a tool that I use called, oh, we've got a nice reflection here. There's a tool that I use called a Zyto Balance, okay? And what this does, it's kind of, it, basically it's an energetic question and answer session with your body. It assesses what's called, what are called biomarkers. This particular one does 172 biomarkers, or 171 if you're a man. And it gives me a report that's anywhere between 40, excuse me, 20 and 40 pages long. It's very, very detailed. It gets into a whole bunch of information. And what that does is it helps us pare down what's kind of generalized information or what may be a bit more specific to you. Okay. So for example, for skin support, I'll just go really vague here for skin support. How do we know, are you going to use frankincense or lavender or peppermint or is a citrus oil going to be better or, yeah, Ashley, thanks. Yeah, the Zytoscan is e extremely accurate and on point. Um, so this, this helps pare, pare down and find out specifically what's going to work well for you. I can translate the results of what I get here into something from the starter kit, or if you're already working with oils or something like that, I can help you um, switch and we can come up with um, a system that might be best for you, but uh, or that can be best for you. So we can work it out, but this tool is very, very valuable. Um, so that's something else to share with you. A third thing, I guess, if we're talking <laughs> in this order, um, Raindrop technique. Raindrop technique is so powerful for your immune system, your respiratory system, your digestive system, your nervous system, your emotional body. A lot of the disease that shows up, disease that shows up in our life has to do with stress, anxiety, uh, all sorts of different things. And we get ourselves so worked up that it affects our, it compromises our health. So raindrop technique is very relaxing. It helps us to balance out both our physical body and our emotional body and move into a place of ease and rest and relaxation. It is quite a bit different, even though it's done on a massage table, it is very different than a typical massage. Uh, it's about an hour long and it's the best way I can describe it is it's like combining reflexology, um, effleurage, which is a really light touch, almost like a Swedish massage, but even more gentle. Um, so reflexology, Swedish massage, and aromatherapy. It's, like I said, it's about an hour long. I do have um, I do have my massage table, and I will travel. So I know that's important to a lot of folks this time of year. I have people of all sorts of different industries. Um, I have some people from the healthcare industry that come and see me on a regular basis because they're aware of what it does both for their emotional body and their physical body. Um, it is great for structural support and your skeletal alignment. Um, so anyway, if any of those things interest you or if there's something, hopefully this answered some people's questions and how they can do some things to help themselves. That was my outcome of it of, for this video. So if you have additional questions, definitely hop on here and comment 
or send me a private message or something like that. But there are a lot of things that you guys can do to support your system all by yourself or with the help of a couple of people. I'm also going to drop my link if you are interested in ordering that starter kit. I'm going to drop a couple of my links in the comments so that you guys can see all that and make it super easy for you. Um, and I love helping guys. I love answering questions and, um, and doing all those pieces with you guys. So give me a shout out. Let me know what's going on. Love you. And I will talk with y'all soon. Bye.